Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So a bunch of new maps have been leaked thanks to Delta Index and we're going to be taking a look at every single one of those maps so you get an idea of what's coming in the future. So let's start off with the first playlist and that is Husky Raid. Now this one they announced themselves. They said that they were going to eventually add new Husky Raid maps to the Husky Raid playlist and now we know what those maps are. So the first one being Outlook which is some sort of like Oni facility on some sort of like mountains. And I actually really like this one. This one looks pretty cool. So it's got like this circular center where there's going to be a lot of chaos, that's for sure. So that one's going to be fun to play. The next one we got is Yuletide, which is a more holiday themed one. And yeah, this one just looks super cozy, man. So this one's got a bridge that you can also go under. You got like a fireplace going, you got some trees, it's like winter. So on to the next map, we got Merchant Square. And this one's actually pretty cool as well. It's like some sort of like medieval theme. At least that's what I think it's going for. But you got like this awesome like knight statue in the background and a bunch of boats nearby. Really selling out this map as it says, which is a Merchant Square. So on to the next map is Urban Raid, which is some sort of like city and you got like some benches and stuff like that not much i can say on this one but yeah this one looks pretty cool as well so on to the next husky raid map that we can expect in the future is waratu or warrut warrato or something or something like that i mean i tried pronouncing it but um yeah it seems like it's supposed to be like some sort of like sing healy themed or at least otherworldly kind of map and yeah this one does look really cool it has like multiple staircases that you can go through I think this is definitely one of the more unique designs out of all the ones we've seen so far. So I do want to see how this one plays out. And on to the final map that is going to be added to Husky Raid is a really cool one. And that is Formation, which which looks a lot like the Halo CE campaign level. I forgot. What, I think it was the Halo level, actually, where you got to turn on the energy bridge so that you can cross with the Warthog and whatnot. And yeah, it's sort of like a recreation of that in a sense. And what makes this even cooler is that in the background, you can actually see a bunch of like Covenant fighting amongst each other, which I think is a pretty cool like background thing that they did here. So those are all the Husky Raid maps that we can expect sometime in the future now let's take a look at some other new maps that will be added in the future and as for the squad battle playlist it's finally going to be getting some new maps and the first map that got leaked is per perdition hopefully i pronounced that right and if you noticed as we're looking at this map it is pretty much a recreation of well the map perdition from halo 4 except of course in infinite and yeah it looks exactly pretty much like it of course it's got a few differences because it's infinite but if you did like that map from halo 4 which is something i really liked about halo 4 was the big team battles and the maps it had uh, i'm sure this one's going to play really well so and on to the next map which is Ra rendezvous Rand rendezvous rendezvous i don't know this is like a remake of a certain map except this time from halo 3 odst which i guess is considered a map I mean, it was part of the campaign and also the firefight. But yeah, it's a recreation of this certain area that you see in the campaign and you can play in firefight. Now, this one I do think is interesting because, I don't know, to me it looks a little small for squad battles. I don't know, we'll see how it plays out. Anyways, on to the next squad battle map is Tempest, which once again, another remake, except this time it's from Halo Reach, which is a recreation of the Tempest map, which I think was originally supposed to be a Halo 3 map, but then they just released it on Reach instead. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. So, while those three are community maps, we're also getting three dev maps, which are just existing maps that we've played on before, and that is Launch Site, Behemoth myth and forbidden so i remember a lot of people saying that man these maps are too big you know if the only there was like a smaller kind of playlist and personally i was looking for something more like a 6v6 i think 8v8 might be a bit much but who knows we'll see how those play on these certain maps but it's definitely going to be interesting especially forbidden that one like i don't know so those are all those new squad battle maps that we can expect sometime in the future pretty good lineup i'd say now let's take a look at some other maps which is like these really crazy community maps which i never thought these would actually ever come to matchmaking just because of how heavily like scripted and, and how like crazy it is now we don't know how these are going to release whether it's going to be like a playlist that they're going to be added to or maybe they're going to be released separately or something who knows but for whatever reason it's been added to the api which delta index here shared with us and one of those maps is the forge falcons inheritor battle royale which was a battle royale that they created which was extremely fun i definitely played it when it was popping i mean it's the closest you can get to a halo battle royale and i definitely enjoyed it so i'd love to see that come to matchmaking so here's another map which is once again made by the forge falcons which this time around it's night of the undead which is supposed to be like a call of duty zombies except halo you know there's actual like drops like max ammo and stuff like that and you can buy weapons off the walls you can even pack a punch it's pretty crazy and that would be really really fun if that got added to matchmaking so on to the next map is the silent cartographer campaign 
man this one is another very amb ambitious uh forge map that i don't see how they're gonna get it into matchmaking um it's gonna be really interesting but yeah it's pretty much the silent cartographer campaign so the next one is tower defense ultimate which is a tower defense game in halo just your like typical tower defense except of course in halo and this one's another really fun one i really enjoy playing this one myself and on to the last one which is a firefight map the halo reach deliver hope map which was if you don't know a trailer there's a trailer for halo reach called deliver hope and they pretty much recreated that in forge now i played this one a bit and man it is intense it's really fun i really like the atmosphere in it so those are all the new maps that you can expect sometime in the future. There's no release date for any of them. Although I'm sure the Husky Raid maps is the ones we'll see first because those are the ones that they actually announced a while back. As for the other ones, the squad battles and the other really unique ones, I don't know when we'll see those. But um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to getting all this community content and I hope they continue to update every other playlist. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about these maps. And of course, consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. And if you want to see more Halo content like this, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.